Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given rational equation x divided by 21 plus uh, x divided by 77 plus x divided by 165 plus x divided by 285 plus x divided by 437 plus x divided by 621 equals to 100. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And as we can see that we have x at the numerator in common across the board, as you can see. So we can factor x out, as you can see in this next step. And we have brought this x outside. And now our task is to add up all these fractions so we are going to manipulate these fractions very carefully now as we can see this 21 could be written as 3 times 7 this 77 could be written as 7 times 11 this 165 could be written as 11 times 15 this uh, 285 could be written as 15 times 19 and this 437 could be written as 19 times 23 and finally 621 could be written as 23 times 27 as you can see in this uh, next step and now let me go ahead and take a few seconds to go over a new concept let me write down 1 over a minus 1 over b and uh, now i can uh, subtract these two fraction by crisscross uh, method so this could be written as b i can cross multiply this minus the other way that's going to be a divided by I can multiply out these denominators so that is going to give us a times b and now let me go ahead and multiply both side by 1 divided by b minus a and on this side 1 divided by b minus a and we can see that this b minus a and this b minus a is gone so the right hand side is going to give us 1 divided by a b and on the left hand side that is going to be 1 over b minus a times 1 over a minus 1 over b no wonder we have come up with this uh, crucial formula that we're going to be applying uh, over here now let's go ahead and simplify this uh, equation i'm going to write down x outside and let's uh, focus on this fraction we are going to apply this uh, crucial formula so this could be written as 1 divided by 7 minus 3 times 1 over 3 minus 1 divided by 7 as you can see if we call this one a and this one b then this become 1 divided by a times b and this is our b and this is our a likewise this is our a and this is our b now let's go ahead and apply this uh, formula on this uh, second fraction as well so this could be written as plus uh, 1 divided by 11 minus 7 times 1 divided by 7 minus 1 divided by 11 and i have taken care of these fractions as well as you can see over here and let's go ahead and take care of this final one let me go ahead and write down plus 1 divided by 27 minus 23 times 1 divided by 23 minus 1 divided by 27 let me go ahead and close the bracket equals to 100 on the right hand side now we can see in the denominator that is going to give us 7 minus 3 is going to give us 4 
likewise this 11 minus 7 is 4 as well this is going to be 4 and 4 over here across the board this is going to be 4 and 4 as well so therefore this equation could be written as x is outside and that's going to give us 1 divided by 4 times 1 over 3 minus 1 divided by 7 plus this is going to give us 1 over 4 as well times 1 divided by 7 minus 1 over 11 plus and here I have taken care of all these fractions as well and now we can see that all these fractions 1 over 4 they are in common across the board as you can see so we can factor them out so if we bring this 1 over 4 outside this is going to become x divided by 4 outside and inside this bracket we are left with this just this part 1 divided by 3 minus 1 over 7 plus likewise plus 1 divided by 7 minus 1 over 11 likewise this one plus 1 divided by 11 minus 1 over 15 and now this one is going to be plus 1 over 15 minus 1 over 19 and then this one that is going to give us 1 over 19 minus 1 over 23 and finally this one plus 1 over 23 minus 1 divided by 27 equals to 100 on the right hand side and now we can see this negative 1 over 7 and positive 1 over 7 is gone this is gone with this one this is gone with this one likewise this cancel each other out so we can see that this series has completely collapsed except we are left with x divided by 4 outside and inside this parentheses 1 divided by 3 minus 1 over 27 equals to 100 and now let's focus on this part inside parentheses and here I have copied it down let's go ahead and subtract these fractions by crisscross method so 1 times 27 is going to give us 27 then I'm going to put this minus sign 3 times 1 is 3 divided by I'm going to multiply out these denominators 3 times 27 is going to give us 81 so that is going to give us 24 divided by 81 and we can see we can still reduce them I'm going to divide both side by 3 so that is going to give us 8 divided by 27 so that means this whole fraction has been reduced to 8 over 27 so therefore we can write x divided by 4 times I can write 8 divided by 27 equals to 100 and now we can see this 4 goes into 8 2 times so therefore we are ended up with the 2 divided by 27 times x equals to 1 100. Now let's go ahead and multiply by its reciprocal which is 27 divided by 2 on both sides and I'm going to multiply 27 divided by 2 on this side as well. So this way we can isolate x. This 27 and 27 is gone. 2 is gone with this 2. So therefore our x value turns out to be on the right hand side if we simplify this thing that is going to give us 1350 thus our solution turns out to be 1350 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye